10% off. Hi shoppers, welcome to Branta. We just updated our price list, so listen carefully. All brand name men's ties reduced to an unbelievable... I just want to start this by saying I love Sydney. When I can go overseas, then I find Sydney to be the next best thing. Just wandering around the streets, you can come across the strangest things. Like this voice recording playing on an endless loop, selling sunglasses to passerbys outside Central Station. We just reduced all ladies' perfumes and men's fragrances to $5 only, up to 80% off all perfumes and fragrances. This sense of hustle and bustle remains a moment of beauty in my eyes that only Sydney can provide. A palpable sense of something beautiful and unexpected around the corner. It can feel at times that each step could transport you to another world. And in a way, that is what this story is about, stepping into another world. For me, on this night, that world is indie wrestling, and I am going to see Australia Professional Wrestling, better known as PWA. PWA is the chief indie wrestling promotion in New South Wales, and arguably Australia. PWA has set itself apart by branding itself as Black Label with an 18-plus crowd. The PWA has created an anarchic, no-holds-barred atmosphere that is part Shakespeare, part circus, and part Australia circa 1973. Always talking. That's your problem. You always talking. Rockstar. Mixed PWA is definitely a cult. <laughs> that was Andrew Rose, a Sydney radio host who commentates for PWA. If you know, then you know. And you're there every time. And we see the same people in the same seats at every show. And everyone that we've invited to a PWA show Afterwards, their biggest reaction is, I had no idea. I had no idea it was that good. I had no idea the wrestlers were that talented. I had no idea the storylines would be that engaging. I had no idea I'd be cheering that hard. PWA fans are some of the most dedicated and passionate fans in Australia. Before a recent show, I went roughly two hours before doors opening to find fans already queuing up. I love it. I'm not that much of a big wrestling fan, but the atmosphere here really goes off. Everyone gets into it. The crowd is just... Amazing. But if you think standing in line for two hours is dedication, wait till you hear from Andy. He has PWA wrestlers tattooed down his arm. I've got PWA, I've got WWE, New Japan, I've got quite a number. So I went to WrestleMania 33 in Orlando and I wanted to get a commemorative tattoo. I didn't want to get a Mania logo. So I got a few autographs and thought, fuck it, let's, uh, let's, let's do an autograph sleeve and just expanded every, every wrestling show I go to, whoever I meet, I get an autograph, I'll get them to sign my leg or an 8x10 and uh, get, just get it tattooed. Other fans told me that what makes PWA so special was the sense of involvement with the show and the characters. I don't know, it's something about it being directly live and in your face and just every time one of the wrestlers succeeds you feel like you've been a part of it in some way shape or form so it's i guess having that involvement they love their fans that's what pwa is all about they do it for the fans and i can't explain it any better than that man any walk of life comes into that building and it's just wrestling fans at the door and everyone just sort of just goes nuts it's, I don't know, it's jude the dude london is one of pwa's high flyers and upcoming stars he thinks what makes the PWA so special is the knowledge that you are living through Australian wrestling history. The vibe there now is um, kind of got that, to me anyway, it's kind of got that like classic indie wrestling vibe with like a really raucous, hot crowd. Like the, the really, the lighting in the venue and just how rabid the fans are and just the feel when you step out there. Like the, spotlights, the spotlights on the ring, on the stage, super professional and super cool. PWA is even starting to get international renown. Mike Quackenbush, the founder of Chikara Wrestling, one of the largest indie wrestling circuits in North America, recently visited the Professional Wrestling Academy, the training ground for PWA, and sees Australian wrestling about to lift off. You know, wrestling's always kind of had three chief epicenters on the globe, Mexico, the United States, and Japan. But in recent years, and I think that some of it's on the heels of the ubiquity of the internet, you started to see these other hotbeds emerge. The UK definitely had their time at the dance in the last decade, and one of the reasons I'm always excited to come back here, and the flip side is why I'm always happy to feature these Australians at home at my company, Chikara, is because Australia is about to become the next one. Uh, so it's very exciting to be part of that scene 
as it's leaving its nascent stage and about to really catch fire. And here is Andrew Rose again. Very big sporting country, and you find something like PWA, it's like you found that team you've always been looking for that you wanted to cheer for, and you immediately become loyal to PWA. Where PWA goes from here is hard to say, but it seems like everything is pointing upwards. The company recently signed a streaming deal with OvoPlay, which could potentially reach thousands of new faces. Several of the company's stars have signed contracts in Japan and the United States. This really could be the beginning of a new era, a bigger era for Australian wrestling. What would you say to somebody who's never been to a PWA show? To come to one. Definitely to come to one. Handheld Travel is written, recorded, and produced by me, Lawrence Hamilton. You can find Handheld Travel on Facebook and Instagram, or on Best of the Rest. That's w r e s t dot com. That's Best of the Rest dot com. Please leave a review when and where you can. It doesn't have to say much. Just maybe the name of your favorite wrestling move. Mine is the Bulgarian Thunderclap. Thanks for listening.